So, uh, Stephanie, I'm going to have you because I, I wasn't prepped on this. Uh, what's going on next? What do we have? Are you, you can, uh, yeah. Uh, my question was, what are we, what are we, what are we doing? This is, talk, give yeah, me the Scott, background right? on Scott, please. Yeah. Scott, give us the background oh. Scott. Give me the background I'm, on Scott. Now I can hear you. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, All right. Go ahead. So what's the okay. deal on Scott? <laughs> Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, so Scott is on the line right now, and he is actually going to be at Munson Williams tonight promoting a new book. I just didn't and, have my uh, paperwork. Uh, I have it here now. He's, he's from New Hartford, and he's a National Geographic contributor and promoting a new book called The Unconquered, this which is, is at uh, Munson Williams. I'm just going to shut. Andrew, fix, figure out what's going on in there. Something crazy. Scott Wallace on the line right now. Well, all hell's breaking loose here. Good morning, Scott. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you're How from you? New Hartford. You might know some history of this program. It's a disaster. The whole thing's a God bless a disaster here. So. I know. I, I really hesitated before I agreed to come on. I figured. I, as, as Listen, <laughs> I've aged in, in the years. I've aged a little bit, so it'll be okay. So, listen, your, uh, tell me about uh, your history. You're from New Hartford. Um, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where are you now? I, and, I, grew, up, I yeah. grew up in New Hartford. Um, Went to uh, Point School for the when, when the Point School was still a school uh, wow. back in the uh, early '60s, and uh, went up to the junior high and um, started high school here in New Hartford. And then I left after ninth grade, um, went away to school in New England, and uh, but then I came back here in the mid, uh, it, you know, in the early '90s um, after I'd been uh, working as a I became a journalist. Went to Central America in the 1980s. Um, went to El Salvador right out of journalism school during wow. the war there in 1983. I was working for CBS Radio, um, doing you know filing reports uh, that were broadcast nationally and writing for a couple different newspapers. And eventually, I did come back to the area. Um, I married uh, a woman from the area, had kids here with her. Um, three of my sons were raised in New Hartford, and. Uh, and but I've uh, you know kind of continued the work that I do, and for the last fifteen years, mostly have been working um, in kind of volatile frontier yeah. regions of the world, a lot in the Amazon rainforest, and a lot of my work is for National Geographic. Wow! And uh, I, I might ask you, um, you know, uh, volatile parts of the world. Seems like we're in the midst of that in this political campaign. What are your thoughts on the on this? current political mess we're in the middle of um it is a mess and um I, you know i'm i'm kind of loath to speak my mind about that too much but um um i I've, i've i'm very concerned about um, particularly about one of the candidates okay <laughs> and if all he right. w- might win <laughs> all right well i think you, you spoke the uh, you spoke your mind right there and we'll we'll leave it at that <laughs> Um, uh, so <laughs> tell me about your book. The book is, is unconquered and you're going to be at yeah. Munson Williams today. Um, actually tonight it's, uh, at 7 PM and talk yes. about the, well, talk about the book. Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, so I'm not really promoting the book. I mean, the book's been out for a few years. Yeah. I am doing a lecture, a, uh, with, um, with, uh, photos, uh, you know, a, 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 a slide lecture, if you will, of, and talking about my experiences as a journalist around the world. Um, and, you know, I will be signing my book afterwards, but I'm not just talking about the book, and I'm not just talking about the Amazon, where I've worked quite a lot, but I'll be sharing experiences from El Salvador, Nicaragua, from Bangladesh, from uh, Iraq. Um, I, I, uh, I was in Baghdad shortly after the uh, invasion in the early months of the mm. occupation in 2003, and uh, I went out on a patrol with a company, a, a, a U.S. Um, uh, Army mechanized uh, infantry patrol. Yeah. And when I returned from that patrol and I was chatting with the first sergeant at the gate to the green zone, um, I, I was just about to leave. And I said, uh, turned to him and I said, by the way, uh, where are you from? And he said, ah, small town in upstate New York you've never heard of. So it turned out he's from here, from Utica. Wow. And, and after wow. that, these guys took me on raids, you know, all over Baghdad. I, you know, I was in, like, Flint there. And uh, so, uh, you know, I've got images. I've, I'll share some, um, some, you know, stories from Iraq and some video. And 
from India and China. So I think it'll be an exciting evening. And, uh, you know, it's not really about promoting my book at this point, right. but, but I'm I do wanna, I certainly do wanna, happy to sell it. <laughs> I, I, I do, Scott. Wanna, we're talking to Scott Wallace uh, from uh, New Hartford, family New Hartford, um, went on to do uh, big things in, uh, in national media and CBS radio and uh, Newsweek and, uh, and National Geographic uh, currently. Um, great stuff. But I, I, what must at one point in the book you talk about coming into contact in the in the in the depths of the Amazon wilderness with mm. with an indigenous uh, tribe that had previously been uncontacted, so people that basically had never seen the Western world. Um, what must that have been like? Well, um, our contact with them was actually pretty fleeting. I mean, this is a tribe mm. that deliberately avoids uh, contact with the outside world. Got it. We were trekking through their territory. I was with a kind of a Lewis and Clark style uh, Brazilian government expedition, fact-finding expedition, but one that was not there to um, make contact with the tribe. Yeah. So, um, but, I mean, to think that there are still these groups today um, it's not that they haven't had any contact whatsoever. I mean, they see planes crossing the sky. They, sure, they don't sure. know what they are. Right. I mean, they 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 think they're maybe their ancestors, sort of keeping watch on things. The wow. low flying bush planes they think are monsters. Um, I know this because I've spoken to you know tr- people who were previously um, uncontacted, and we dis- I've discussed with them what they thought about the world before yeah. they did enter contact with the white man's world, if you will. Um, it's pretty fascinating stuff. And uh, probably, you know, and for these tribes, fascinating, you know, bewildering and, and terrifying. I mean, yeah. they are afraid of us and, you know, largely for very good reason, because they are, um, we bring death and disease and violence. Yeah, to them. Yeah. That's what they've known, you know, uh, for, at, our, at our hands. So uh, you've been covering stuff for many, many years. Um, as you go around the world, um, are we better off today than we were? You hear that political line, are we better off today than we were four years ago? But are we? have we grown to a point around the world where things are better after 50, 60 years? Well, I think it's kind of uneven. In some places, I would say things are better, and in other, uh, in other places, uh, and in other respects, um, infinitely worse, I, yeah. I would say. I mean, I don't think you can look at the situation in the Middle East today and um, think it, you know, somehow think it's better than right, it right. was, you know, yeah. 15, 20, or 40 years ago. Uh, but in some instances, I'd say yes. I mean, there, you know, there, we have made strides in in uh, conquering disease and in communications and things of that sort, and and in, um, you know, in in many instances, getting rid of, um, you know, oppressive totalitarian yeah, yeah, yeah. sorts of governments so i think it's uneven in some in some respects it's better and in others it's worse well, you One can thing go that, to syria today and uh, and see an example of that it's just well yeah right totally yeah. Yeah. yeah um and uh, you know where where the rule of law is basically uh, meaningless at this yeah. point and it, the, living in those kinds of situations yeah. is absolutely terrifying um yeah I'm, I'm 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 not a proponent of war Generally speaking, to solve our problems, war is a horrific reality, and um, anyone who's lived in it can tell you that. All right, very interesting. Scott Wallace is a New Hartford native, author, and a National Geographic contributor, and will be at Munson Williams uh, today. And uh, it'll be a slide tonight show at 7. tonight at seven p.m. Uh, yep. at Munson. And uh, hey, I, I know you're on the road and traveling and all that stuff. You took time to, to speak with us, and I, I really appreciate that. So people should check it out tonight. Thank you. It was a real pleasure. All right, Scott. Thanks so much.